Welcome back, everybody. You know, I spent a lot of my time sourcing the finest, most topical slabs of news marble, carefully chiseling out a wide, deep basin and sculpting the most expressive neoclassical joke figures, then engineering an aqueduct connecting it to current events mountain, thereby diverting its crystalline story waters into the breathtaking Italian Palazzo Fountain. That is my monologue, but sometimes, just, just sometimes, folks, I hide my meds under my tongue so the asylum night nurse can't see me not swallow them, then slip into the night, break into a mechanic shop to fashion a snorkel out of a rusty exhaust pipe and some arm floaties out of old inner tubes, then steal a recycling bin from a middle school and fill it with moonshine and regret before I submerge us all in the parole-violating makeshift kiddie pool of news that is my segment. <laughs> Quarantine wise. Quarantine while. <laughs> Big news for all you role players out there. These LED dice could electrify your next Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Here's a look at them in action. Whoa! Plus five sparkle. <laughs> of course, the lights are a little less bright when you've been forced to swallow them and then stuffed into a locker. <laughs> The dice draw power wirelessly from a case and can go for around five hours on a single charge or more if you're willing to live without the lighting. Sure, if you want to call that living. <laughs> and let me just get this straight. When they're charged, these dice light up. But if you're willing to not have them light up, they're willing to still be dice. <laughs> In a related story, if I don't charge my phone, it's still willing to be something that I could shatter. Of course, you don't get performance like that without paying for it. One die, including charger, starts at $39. Or you can get a set of seven dice and a charging case for $199. But the look on your spouse's face when you tell them you dropped a week's grocery budget on light dice that may or may not light up, priceless. <laughs> Quarantine well. There's a new hotel in China receiving backlash because it's built around a central polar bear enclosure for the non-stop viewing pleasure of its guests. It's the perfect lodging for anyone who's thought, I like the zoo, but I wish I could see the animals sad at night. <laughs> Quarantine while. Scientists have recently confirmed that the Earth has a hidden lair and no one knows exactly what it is. Please be nougat, please be nougat, please be <laughs> nougat. So far, Sound wave experiments can't tell us much about its makeup. The study reveals there is more complexity to the inner core than previously appreciated. And Earth might have more layers than scientists thought. You hear that? The Earth is more complex in its core than we appreciated. We see it as just this big spinning rock, but maybe it's not spinning. Maybe it's dancing. So don't be surprised if the Earth gets fed up and goes backpacking through Andromeda, then it comes back and wants to go to clown school, Dad. <laughs> quarantine while. In Deep South yoga happenings, Alabama might overturn its 28-year-old ban on yoga in schools. Great news for fitness-conscious Alabamans. Bad news for illegal yoga dealers. Psst. <laughs> hey, kid. You want to activate your chakras? What are you into? Shavasana? Chaturanga? I got them all. 50 bucks, I'll give you a warrior two that'll unlike your prana like crazy. Apparently, in 1993, the Alabama Board of Education banned yoga because of opposition by conservative groups over its Hindu roots. Gotta be tough to teach at a school that bans anything Hindu since the Hindus invented numbers. Okay, so if a train leaves a station going a lot of miles an hour <laughs> and another train leaves a different station going a little miles per hour, how close will the sun be to the mountain when they meet? <laughs> Quarantine while. In walrus tourism news, a walrus was spotted for the first time ever in Ireland. It is believed the Arctic creature could have fallen asleep on an iceberg before being carried across the Atlantic Ocean. Wait, are you telling me this walrus in Ireland passed out and woke up somewhere it doesn't even recognize? Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> We'll be right back with Lupita Nyong'o.